We thank you, Lord. Your presence is awesome, O oh God. How much more, Father, when we will be in heaven, standing before you, God, face to face, worshiping you, God, with all our hearts, Lord. Day and night, there's no night there, oh God. Everything is day because of your glory. And we will be worshiping you, Lord, for eternity, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's give God a mighty hand of praise. Woo. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's all be seated in the presence of our God. Wow. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers that we can, we can enter into your presence, oh God. Thank you so much. Are you happy in Christ? Oy, masyado mahina. <laughs> Are you happy in Christ? Amen. Okay. I don't know what, what are the reasons why you're happy, but I believe it's because He first loved us, right? Okay, so, I'll be talking about what I love to be doing, and that's missions. So, I, I'm, I'm leaving for Basilan tomorrow early morning. And we'll be going to underserved communities once again. And uh, places na hindi pa namin uh, napuntahan. And we'll be proclaiming the gospel. Uh, we, we're not going to hide the truth. Okay? We're going to let the light, the lamp shine that they will see it. Okay? So, missions begins in the heart of God. Amen? Because God... He said there, God sent His only begotten Son, His beloved Son, to this world. God sent the Holy Spirit to this world. And Jesus sent His disciples and us, where? Also to this world. And the Holy Spirit is the principal actor in the fulfilling of the mission. Sino daw ang principal actor? The Holy Spirit. Minsan, the Holy Spirit is the less acknowledged person in the Trinity. We call on God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit. Parang hindi natin nabibigyan ng acknowledgement, the Holy Spirit. But if we study the Bible, that the, 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 the work of the Holy Spirit in us is He guides. He convicts sa ating sin. It's the Holy Spirit's work. When we pray, it's the Holy Spirit's work. The Holy Spirit comforts. When you are down, ask the Holy Spirit. When I'm, I was so down, so low that time, I asked the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, please comfort me. <sighs> Ang bilis. I, I felt the peace right away. Because that's His job. Everybody has His own job. Okay? Now, let's, let's go to our verse. The mission of Jesus Christ according to Luke 4, but let's start from the very verse uh, is that 1 or 14? 14 to 30, right? Yes. Everybody, let's, let's, let's read this, okay? 1, 2, 3, and read. Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit. The news about Him spread through the whole countryside. He was teaching in their synagogues, and everyone praised Him. He went to Nazareth, where He had been brought up. And on the Sabbath day, He went into the synagogue, as was his custom. He stood up to read, and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him. And rolling it, he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners, and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Then he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant and sat down. The eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fastened on him. He began by saying to them, Today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. All spoke well of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his lips. Father, we pray that you bless the reading of your word. Even as we speak, Holy Spirit. 
I, I pray for anointing. We acknowledge you. We acknowledge you, God, in our midst, in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. So Jesus' mission was to save that which was lost. He came to seek those which was lost. Hindi naman pwedeng hanapin yung andyan ano. Pag may nawawala sa bahay, yun ang hanapin natin. Asa na ba yung salamin ko? Nandito lang pala. Hinahanap natin. Where's my... Okay. It happened to Madel. Right? It happened to you. Yes? Okay? Because she used to put it here. Okay? So, hinahanap natin. Minsan, hinahanap natin yung wala. Pwede ba? Anong hinahanap mo? Ang sagot, wala. Uy, naku, <laughs> nakakalito, right? Okay? And the salvation and goodness was and is directed toward every area of need. Poverty and the problem of humanity. Ano raw? Poverty and the problem of humanity. The nature of man was that he was separated from God. We were separated because of our sin. And man lives with great number of problems and misfortunes, urgently needing the good news of love, the grace, and the favor of Christ. Jesus was convinced that he was able to fulfill his mission because God had anointed him with the Holy Spirit. Okay, now, let's start now. One passage that speaks to us of Jesus' missions is found in Luke 14. Yes, Okay, Luke 14, verses 19, or 18, no, 19. The problem, number one. Problem number one is the poverty. Yes, poverty, Luke 4, right? To proclaim good news to the poor. Good news, my ayuda. Yeah, but good news to the poor, yan. My ayuda, nakipila din ako. Oh, I see my neighbors na, mayayama naman to ah. <laughs> Hindi nila lang yung mga kotse nila. <laughs> Iniiwan sa bahay. Okay, pumunta rin ng gym. <laughs> eh ako, wala, wala talaga. Lord, well, I need help. <laughs> I have three kids to feed, okay? And so, bad news. Wala nang ayuda. Good news. May four piece pa. Pero hindi ako kasali. <laughs> hindi tayo kasali dyan. Right? Bad news. Yung pera ng four-piece, minsan hindi na pupunta sa family. Andun sa bisyo ng wife, ng husband. No? So bad, right? Not all, yung iba, they really use it for good. So there is much spiritual and, and moral poverty, economic poverty. It's also very real problem, especially sa mga third world countries at saka sa atin din. We're, we're, we're not exempted. So what did Jesus do to the poor. Let's define poor first. Okay, uh, Pastor uh, Don explained already about poor, but I have other uh, uh, research here about the poor. Meaning the poor in the passage here is P-T-O-C-H-O-S. It's the verb. Is that silent P? Do you think it's silent P, yan, Pas? Tocho siguro to, hindi man pochos. Tocho, silent P, parang psychology, silent P, parang knife, silent K. Yung wife, silent yung husband. Mm -mm, okay? Ayaw namin ng gulo. Okay? So, we love our wives. And it says there, to cringe, to shrink back, to cover. Okay? It conveys the idea of a Beggar. May picture tayo, right? right? We have a picture there. Okay? Example is Lazarus. Okay? So, Lazarus is yung... Anong, 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 ano yung hinahanap niya? Gusto niya lang kainin. Crumbs. Na mahulog dun sa kinakain ng rich man. Right? Okay lang kung breadcrumbs na isang bowl ang dami. Mabubusog siya. Pero kung crumbs, crumbs lang na kunti-kunti... I don't think he will be satisfied, right? So he was poor, beggar, right? So penicross, ordinary word for poor, means somebody who has little. Pero ang poor dito na sinabi is bankrupt. Walang wala, ubos ang pera. You need, this is what you need, right? Can you show me the picture, Kian? 
about about the beggar? Okay. Ayun. Social yung isa. Meron siyang uh, higaan. Taka, naka-Pepsi pa siya. Right? Pero isa ito, wala. Naka-ano talaga? Naka-bow din. Right? So, yung totoong beggar daw, yung poor, is you cover your eyes with the other hand and the other hand is stretching. Kasi nahiya ka. Right? Yung iba, may one time. Okay? I always love to walk the streets dyan sa Matina. Ang laki ng katawan. Parang pwede bouncer. Pero nangihingi. Mm-hmm. Ako pang hinihinga niya. Ang liit-liit ko. Okay? Ito yung totoong poor. Di close kasi hiyang hiya ka. But you have to do it because you're hungry. You need to survive. Ito yung poor. Bankrupt. Totally bankrupt talaga. Right? Yung, 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 yung mahirap, yung mayaman, talagang takot silang maging mahirap. Kasi yung lifestyle. Yung mahirap, hindi takot mayaman, yung maman. Right? <laughs> okay. Pero iba-iba yung gusto ni Lord sa atin. And it conveys that you have a beggar, right? And what did Jesus do to the poor? He had compassion on the poor widow. Oh, yung poor widow, may compassion siya. And raise her only child. Bakit? Binuhay niya yung anak ng widow. Kasi yun lang anak niya ang nagsusupport, nagtatrabaho para sa kanya. And God raised that dead son of the widow. Okay? And He healed the lepers. Mga sanglahon. Nakita na mo, face to face, mga lepers. Uh, dagan sa, kuhan, sa bukana. Uh, Isla Verde. Uh, you, you will see lots of them there. We, we, we were able to minister to those guys. Okay? And, eh, nakaka, nakaka-infect pag may open wound ka, pag nag-touch yan. Okay? Okay, so, he healed the lepers. Why? Para makabalik sila sa kanilang work. Right? So that they can work. He condemned the rich who exploited the poor, especially the orphans and the widows. On the other hand, we see that he praised the action of a poor widow and placed all that she had on the offering plate. Wala na, ubos. Binigay na lahat ng ano, yung, yung, yung ano niya, offering niya. Hindi naman siya binigyan ni, ni, ni God ng funding. Oh, ito may funding. Oh, kasi wala, binigay mo na. Hindi na rin pinigilan yung, yung widow. Oh, Ma'am, huwag ka nang magbigay. Walang-wala ka na eh. Tapos magbibigay ka pa. Hindi niya pinigilan. Right? And she was without money. The poor widow. The poor are, are not always poor. Right? Because on the contrary, they are often uh, rich in faith. Walang wala ka na nga. Wala ka pang faith. Na, di ba? So yun na lang panlaban na, ng mga poor. May faith sila. Kasi kung wala na talaga silang faith, they are useless na sa mundong ito. It's only that faith that holds them not from falling. Yun na lang talaga. I trust you, Lord. I believe that your word says that, that you will provide for me. I, I, love, I always use this illustration of Pastor Dave about yung ibon na, walang ibon na nalaglag sa puno dahil sila po ay nagutom. Wala po. They didn't work, but God feed them. They, they, they always chirp, sing every day, every morning, from morning to daytime because they are well fed. How much more you and I, diba, diba, sabi ni, ni, ng Bible, you are fearfully and wonderfully made, created by God. May takot siya. Lahat ng, ng nerves and veins, sabi ng, ng doktor ko si Panon Shalman, okay, sabi niya, if we connect the nerves and the veins of your body, it can, it, can, it can reach the circumference of the earth. Grabe na doctor yun. No? So, lahat ng, lahat ng parts of your body, may sarili-sarili function. Tanggalin mo yun. Ako, mahirap na. Okay? So, sabi dito sa so James chapter 2, verse 5, Listen, my, my dear brothers, has not God chosen those who are poor in the eyes of the world to be rich in faith and to inherit the kingdom He promised those who love Him? 
Okay? He promised those who love Him, they are rich in faith. I know several people with significant economic ano, needs, yet they are also rich in faith. And progressing economic, eco, eco, economically, economically, okay? They do not feel abandoned by God, but rather they feel very loved. Because we experience the love of God in spite of walang wala na, but we trust God. Siguro yung, yung talagang nag-ulsir ka na kay gutom na kakaayo. No. Siguro, siguro wala man, hindi man tayo, hindi tayo pinabayaan ni God. Right? And from my viewpoint, a person who follows Jesus and trusts Him is not poor. He or she may lack material things. So did Jesus and Paul. Paul Paul can work because he's knowledgeable, he's a smart person, but he served God. The promise is that God will provide for their needs. Do we know and, and preach contentment? Okay? So, meron, meron, uh, I go to uh, flea market, ukay ukay, I look for stuff, props. Okay? So, uh, just four days ago, so, punta ako. Uh, they know me as a pastor. Hindi ko tinatago because I'm here to really preach to you. <laughs> okay? And then, and then this, this uh, 56, 57 year old na, na, na cashier, na pastor, uh, may, may question ako. Kasi yung friend ko, ganun, ganun, ganun. Okay? Oh, kasi walang contentment yung mga, yung mga kamag-anak niya. So, uh, she worked hard yung, 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 pinag, yung sinasabi niya na babae para lang maipa- Sabi niya na, I'm not, I'm not that, kasi minamata siya eh. Okay? So, hindi ako ganun. So, sabi, dapat maging content siya. Dapat hindi, huwag niya isipin yung sasabihin na kanya mga kapatid. Okay? At the end of the day, sino nang walang peace? Sino nang mayroong peace? Okay? So, they are not always poor. We should preach contentment. Huwag yung, uh, Multi-millions na nga, ala, sige pa rin, sige pa rin. Yung pera. No? Minsan, nakikita natin sa mga, sa mga politicians that, that, that are corrupt, tinuturo pa sa anak. Anak, ganito yung gagawin mo. <laughs> okay? Ganito ang pagkamal ng maraming pera, anak. Huwag mong, huwag mong, ganun, sige. Uh, yung mga resibo, oh, huwag bayaan mo yan. Right? So, even these days, tinuturo sa kanila mga anak at mga apo. This is how you're going to do it. Next is, the problem is the captivity. Captives. Luke 4, 18. B. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners. Okay, freedom there means a thesis or release. Release, okay? Idea of forgiveness. Release forgiveness to those who are in prisons. Captives, okay, and the word is aik malotos, prisoners. It can mean prisoners of war, those who have been taken captives by some powerful source, brought into prison for crimes that are deemed that they have committed and are waiting for their execution. No, nagaantay na lang. Ito yung mga prisoners. Are we like that? We are like that. We used to be prisoners of our sin and we are damned to hell but there was a rescue right okay so in the gospels we do not read jesus being freeing anyone na may nabasa kayo nakulong tapos pina, pinalabas ni jesus sa acts mayroon nangyari kay paul they were in prisons they were released because of the power of of, of god when they were worshiping they were they were uh, uh, singing hymns, singing hymns to God, okay, and there there was an earthquake, okay, the move of the Holy Spirit, and He did not even give freedom sa kanyang first cousin, si John the Baptist, di ba nakulong? Do you think Jesus has no power to do that, to bring release kay kay John the Baptist, but He didn't do it. God has plans. How, how, how Jesus see us as a prisoner? 
Yung sabi ko kanina, we are prisoners that need deliverance, need freedom. In prison for punishment, so they need forgiveness. So what so what prisoners did he free? Anong klaseng prisoners ang pina pina ano yun? Pina ha? Pinalaya ni Jesus. First is the prisoners of the devil. Remember yung Gadarisin demoniac who lives in the tomb sa cemetery? God released him from those bondage, from the demons. Are they real? Dati, dati hindi pinag-uusapan yan. Uy, huwag ka magsuot ng ganyan, nakakatakot. Dapat angel lang isuot mo. Ngayon, hindi na. Grammy Award. It's so open now. The devil is, you know, showing himself na. He's even worship. Right? All the, all the few lang tiningnan ko, ayoko mag-watch ng ganun kasi para sa akin, it's not glorifying God. We know that already. He's doing His best kasi malapit na yung time ng enemy. He knows that He's gonna thrown back to hell. Kaya mabilis yung kabig niya. Kung may 11, uh, 7-11 siya, 24-7. Every single minute, hindi natutulog yung mga demonyo. Nagahanap yan ng madadala sa impyerno. And sino yung pwede nang dalhin? Don't, who, don't, who don't believe Jesus? Who reject Jesus? Who don't trust Jesus? So marami ng Antichrist. Marami ng pro-Satan. I just love to watch this. Mga, mga debate, no? Uh, and these guys debate against the Muslims about Satanists, mga, mga atheists. Okay? So, sino lang naniniwala kay Christ in this world? Anong religion lang naniniwala kay Christ? Christians. The rest? Ah, ano lang, ma- maliit na Lord. Uh, prophet lang siya. Okay? Messenger lang siya. Only the Christians against all the religions of this world. So many turn to spiritism, witchcraft, ano pang mga pinapapractice ng mga tao, mind reading, and are bound in some way of evil spirits. I know, but friend, naging, naging politicians din siya. Okay? Naging politician din siya. And then, she used to be uh, the, the daughter of a pastor. Okay? Smart. Magaling magsalita. Convincing. Nung naging ano na siya, nagka-asawa, nag-break, uh, may anak sila, and then, uh, hindi ko na alam kung ano na yung life niya, okay, ayoko mag-marites, okay, pero ang sabi nila, uh, uh, marami, kasi known, naging known siya. So, nagkukonsult na siya every day ng fortune teller. Kung anong mangyayari, ano yung life ko today? Uh, pero yung life niya, nagbe-base na sa manalagma, Mananagna, manghuhula, hula nga eh. Di ba? Ang hula lang, okay? Hindi totoo. Yeah, ito. Siyempre, mostly, pag mayaman, puro positive ang sabihin. Ay, ma'am. Ito, ma'am, ganyan yun. Oh. Pag mahirap ka, nako, iho. May sakit ka. Magpunta ka sa doktor. Ayoko. Bakit? Kasi, pinatay ng, ng doktor, namatay, pinatay ng doktor yung, yung, yung tito ko. Ha? Bakit? Kasi nagpa-check up siya, sakit yung heart niya, chinik ng doktor, sabi ng doktor, wala kang sakit, uwi ka na. After 10 minutes, namatay yung uncle ko. Anong kinamatay? Heart attack? Hindi. Nabangga ng kotse. Ah, hindi kasalanan ng doktor yun. Kasalanan ng doktor, siya nag-drive ng kotse. Okay. So do we teach the students at our Christian institutions how these people can be set free from the captivity? Tinuturo ba natin? Yung mga ka- 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 kaibigan mo, friends mo, relatives mo, very close to you. They're in captives, they're in prisons. Okay? They are poor, they're bankrupt. Do we teach them? Do we, do we, do we trust uh, do we entrust them to Jesus? 
Prisoners, next is prisoners of sin and vice. Jesus replied, Very truly, I tell you, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. Let's read John 8. From John 8. Para malaman natin, Anong story nito? It's about the Jews. Okay? So in John 8, Okay? So I'm using NIV this time. John chapter 8. If you have your Bibles, click, click your cell phones. The children of Abraham in John 8, 31. To the Jews who had believed him, Jesus said, If you hold on to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are Abraham's descendants and have never been slaves of anyone. How can you say that we shall be set free? Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, everyone who sin is a slave to sin. Now a slave has no permanent place in the family, but a son belongs to it forever. So if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. I know you are Abraham's uh, descendants, yet you are ready to kill me because you have no room for my world. I am telling you what I have seen in the Father's presence, and you do what you have heard from your father. Abraham is our father, they answered. If you were Abraham's children, said Jesus, then you, then you would do the things Abraham did. As it is, you are determined to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Ab Abraham did not do such things. You are doing the things your own father does. So sabi ni Jesus, e Verily, I tell you, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. It wasn't just the prostitutes, the adulterers, or the, the collectors, the tax collectors who were sinners during those times. The Jews thought they were free. But Jesus saw that they were enslaved of sin. Today, many think that they are free, but we realize that they are imprisoned by such things as addiction, hate, violence, hypocrisy, envy, greed, and many other sins. Okay? So, addiction, marami po. May nagsabi na Solomon is a sex addict. Magka ilan, ilan yung asawa niya? 700. Concubines? 300. No? So, sex addict siya. But God's grace is still, you know, with Solomon. Even Christian kids or people, they see Christianity as some kind of bandage. Don't they? And they think they are free or they will be freed if they get out from Christianity and embrace the wisdom of the world. Parang ako rin eh. Mostly pag pag taga-probinsya ng mga, ng mga bata, estudyante, na aduog dabaw, taga, taga Jinsan, Cotabato, uh, taga Cagayan, pag abot sa dabaw, parang, oh, freedom! I can do what I want! That's why I was into some addiction. From Tagum to Dabao. Ah, walang parents, naka, walang CCTV, walang nakabantay, wala si nanay, sa tatay. Okay? So this time, so sad, Christian parents have problem with their kids because some kids would like to get out from this Christianity. I want to be free. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to be in. Click sa aking mga friends. I'm left alone. Wala akong kaibigan. Yung mga kaibigan ko, ayun, umiinom na sila. Gusto ko rin uminom. Para may friends ako. Something that Christianity is a bandage. Let's get out from Christianity and do the things that we want. We have the rights, right? We have the rights. Everybody got the rights and nobody is going to infringe on my rights. I can do what I want to do. I can do what I want. I can be 
I'm free to be myself. Myself, myself. Yan ang new generation. They're not thinking about what's ahead. Nagiging bored sila sa Christianity. Bakit? Eh, hindi naman natin pwedeng palitan yung sinasabi sa Bible. The story of Abraham, the same. Joseph, lahat na. Ano pa ba pwede natin sabi, sabihin sa kanila? Jesus died on the cross for you. They're, uh, they're so, wala na. Alam na, alam na nila yan. They want something new. Wisdom. From the other world. And mostly, itong media ang very, very influential. Mga rappers, mga singers, mga worship leaders. Sila yung very influence sa kanila. Hindi na yung pastor. Di ba, Angelis, wala na. Oh, we know that already since childhood. Oh, baka gusto mo, sabihin ko pa lahat sa iyo yung story, details. They wanted freedom, but they are not free. They are slaves. Next is prisoners of wealth. Wealth prevented the rich young ruler by following Jesus and money continues to be a great obstacle, hindering people from faithfully following the Lord. Sabi niya, Lord, I, I want to follow you. Okay, have you done this? And did, I did that? Okay, yes, I obeyed the Ten Commandments. I did this and that. Okay, so sell your properties. Give it to the poor. Uh-oh, I work hard on this. May maririnig mo palagi sa abroad, mga friends. I work hard on this. Okay? True. And you have the right to, to uh, sabi mo na anak ko, uh, o oh, anak, may date ka ba ngayon? No, it's me day. Uh, <laughs> me day. Oh, siya lang daw, magkakape siya. Okay, go ahead. Okay? So, wealth prevented the young ruler. Kasi nga, pinag-ipunan niya. What if God will take away everything so that you will serve God? Because God knows that this wealth of you will hinder you from worshiping me, serving me. Again, sinasabi ko palagi, money is a good servant, but a cruel master. Okay? Our mission is not only directed to the poor. We also want to reach out toward the, the rich people because we want them to be freed from, from the love of money. I know lots of rich people. And I, we, have, we have friends, very rich, but they, they take care of their workers. Okay? They, they, oh, ano, ano, gusto mo motor? Ano? Cash, bilhin niya. O oh, sige, bayad ka lang kung tagi-tagi lang. Oh, may 1,000 ka amant, o oh, sige, okay lang. Para hindi ka malit sa trabaho. So yung mga workers niya, gwapo kayo mga motor. Mag-Bible study ako, ay pangit kayo ako motor. Sila magwapo kayo ilang motor. Okay? Mm. Because they're, they're, they're boss, Christians, they're rich, but they know the gospel. They know the purpose of Christ. Prisoners of tradition and uh, hindi pa ako tapos, okay? It wasn't just the uh, the poor that we are reaching, but also the rich people. Okay? Next is prisoners of tradition and legalism. Tradition. Ay naanda na manamo ni siya, Pastor. Yeah, pag human o si Manasanta, mga ligo, give me dagat. <clears throat> Masa may connection sa dagat, pag <laughs> Tinga lagi ko sa connection sa Biko, binignit sa kamatayon ni Jesus. Tradition man na mo, Pastor. Okay, sige, pero malibog yun ko. Okay. Uh, sa, mga, sa, mga, ano, sa mga Chinese, uh, pabuto ka ng libintador pag New Year's. Kaya pang abog o oh, espiritu. Sundugon po ang Pinoy. Uh, kung saan nasa Chinese nga mga kwan, uh, kasa nga, nabili po sila. Yung mga, mga frogs, bili din yung Pinoy. Oh, okay. Okay. Naku- Dahil, dili mga ka-Chinese. Mm-hmm. Okay. Natanan na collection. Andan si Buddha, andan si, ano, uh, 
Okay? So lahat nag collection na nila. <clears throat> okay, yung trust nila is nasa tradition and legalism. Ay, kinahalang yun. Okay? Sabi sa Old Testament, Sunday, Sabado yun. Sabat do. Oh. <laughs> no, Sabado yun. Okay? Paano yan? Sabat din, rest day nila. O saan ang rest day sa modern world? Sunday man. Diba? Trabaho, Sabado. May mga trabaho. Sabado, Domingo raman yun. So, muna na atong time. Di na kinalin ang legalism, ang tradition. Kung kailan ka, asa ka magtapok yung mga friends, dito, itong sundun. Okay? So, muna na ato ang, uh, muna na ato ang, dilipod na andan. Okay? Uh, Maura magid ang time na ito. Okay? So, the religious in Jesus' day were bound by their traditions and laws. So that they could not accept the grace of Jesus. Hindi nila madawat ang grasya. Nga, they, they, that they were saved by grace. Kaya nalang mag, maning kamot pagyugko. Oh. Ang magpalansang pagyugko, magpapako sa cross. Hindi pa tama yun. Kailangan papako every year. Okay. okay? Pero, pagkatapos, mag, makita mo sa TV man. Talaga, nag-inuman sila kasi, kasi the whole day, nakakapagod yung nasa, nasa ano sila. Oo. Oh, oh. Chill, chill lang tayo na lang pray. Next year na naman tayo. Okay. May bayad ba? Mga pagpunta doon? Meron tourism ata yun eh. Okay, so. Today, many believe they can secure their salvation by observing religious traditions, believing themselves to be free, but they are slaves of tradition. The Bible said that, you know, you just follow the traditions of man rather than the word of God. Okay? Worship Him in spirit and in truth. So tradition, every year, January, ang mga tugyog si buo. Di, mawasaka di asa kwan. Matina. Kaya tradition na andan. Okay? So there are many captives, even in our Christian institution. They need to be freed. So do we proclaim freedom in Christ to them? Do we proclaim freedom from the bondage of same traditions? So if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. So I was analyzing. So if, my condition, if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. So that means, kung hindi ka free ni God, hindi ka talaga niya free. Right? So, it's a choice. That comes from God. Because God knows. Kahit magiging ulo. Diba? The Bible said, their hearts are hardened. So, let it be. Sige, padayon mo sa iyong pagpakasala. Even the Bible said, right? Kahit nasa hell na sila, anong sabi sa Bible? They are still cursing God. Nga niya ay lahang kasuko sa ginoo. Nasa hell na. Instead of asking help, Lord, forgive me, Lord, help, rescue me. They're still cursing God. So, God knows already kung kinsa tong masave o dili. But in my case, I have to plant seeds sa mga places nga kung aduan. Find the person, the, the, the man with peace, man of peace. Find them. Ay, itong violent. Violent, ah, tigbason ka dritso. Mangita ka ng smile per minti, malipay sa imuha, mauti imong duulon. Okay? I love sa matina, ganahan ko magkuhan. Astorya sa mga church ladies, sa mga sa mga okay-okay boys. I talk to them sa mga cashier. No? I love to talk to them. Sa mga, mga gulay-gulay, standby sa kadali. Uy! Kuya, imong bumbay. Ano siya man siya? Apo na ni siya? Kaya gagamay naman kaayo. Mm, katawa po siya. Malagi sir. Uy, ano? Wala. Okay. So, Uh, pinakabulang sir, wala namin gamit-gamit anak, katong, katong, katong sibuyas dahon, ipamahal na po nila ang sibuyas dahon. No? Ipamahal na po nila. Mga 300 ata. 150. O, oh, ang kilo. Okay? So, mananom na yun. No? Okay. So, problem number four na ba ta? Physical suffering. Okay? So, the blind. Jesus took and enters in people's suffering physical suffering. We are not God who can heal, but we believe that God can heal. Four days ago, so I was, I was, I was uh, posting uh, yung mga ano ko sa, sa missions, 
And then, yung, yung, yung isang friend ko, sabi nga, uh, Noel, can you pray for my son? Uh, he has, uh, my lab test siya ngayon, tapos mayroon siyang cyst sa kidney. And so, we, I, I prayed. Uh, ma, 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 mataas yung type ko. Ayoko mag-send ng icon na, hmm, ako ganun pray. <laughs> uh, you're not praying. Okay, I tell you. Okay? Okay. You have to type. One to two minutes. Oh, mag, mag voice record ka, send mo. Ay, masayaan sila. So, we prayed. After, after, kasi nasa, nasa, ano na sila. After a few hours, pastor, praise God, negative. Negative. So, another one, sa states naman, yung husband niya, mayroong may, may tumor din, nagpa-pray, pero wala pang result. Wala pa siya nag-update. Okay? So, it will take one minute to two minutes, type ka. Diba? And people would love to hear your 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 prayer. So the first Christian church cried out to God for miracles and healing and God answered. How many of us cry out for healing? Again and again, pag publica, wa kay card, um, Lord, ampo um, gika. Lord, tabang taon, Lord, ang akong anak, Lord. Mm. If you are well off, uh, ambulance, tawag ka, pick up me. <laughs> May bayad na, di ba? May bayad na, tawag ka 911, ambulance. May bayad na yan siya. Okay, hindi, hindi tulad noon, libre. Okay? So, may bayad na ata yan. And then, okay, doc, do your best. I have uh, American card, gold card. Ano pang mga card na yan? Ikaw, sir, na, na sir, Christmas card. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Sa, sa, sa SLA, sa kanang mga grocery. Nakakay kwan, sir. Legit card. Mom, Christmas card. Good. Makatawa na po ng mga kwan. Sales girl. Ikaw, sir, ha? Joker. Good ka, sir. Ha? Okay. So, if we are stuck in our comfort zone, we will never see the real world who needs you. Try mo. At palingki. Uy. See the situation of the poor people. Talk to them. Tap their shoulders. Nga na ng konday. Padayon nang ta. And then they, you will have, you will have burden for them. Makasulti yung nga, hasang gibles, gila ko kasi ginuuno. Napaka ko'y parinti ng inahanglan o pambayad at anigbalay nila. Napaka ko'y parinti. May relatives ba ako na nanay ang ngailangan ngayon? Check mo. Friends mo sila? O hindi mo friends sa Facebook? Check. Ako, ah, wag ko na lang sabihin. <laughs> May mga kapatid ako, marami ako mga kapatid na mga mga uh, uh, masaway. Okay? So, save ka ng save sa kanilang napupunta. Hebrews 13.8 says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. God never changes. His faithfulness never changes. His mercy never changes. His power to heal never changes. Again, I claim this when He said in the Bible that you will do greater things than this. If you just obey. If you walk faithfully in God. Sino palang gagamitin niya? Yung walang God? Siyempre yung merong God. And who trust Him. Para pag interest okay dong. Ah, ikaw na interest na akong susi dong ha. Hmm. Sa balay, sa kotse, wala ka ko, I entrust everything to you. Make sure you manage it well. So while Jesus is gone, because He's coming back, he entrusted some things for us. And he, be, he, he, he trusts us that we will be faithful in these things. Sometimes He heals instantly. Sometimes it's a process. While in that process, makaamgo ka. Okay, uy, masikwaon ako ni Lord. Kailan maghimo ko maayo. <laughs> while, 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 wapag ikuha ni Lord, okay, you visit your fr- families and friends. Sometimes he uses medicine. 
Uh, meron namang iba, so masyadong, masyadong hyper yung faith nila. We don't need doctors, we're just calling God. Namatay ang anak. Kasi 50-50 na anak niya, let's just pray. Pwede naman i-rush. Diba? The Bible said, every perfect gift comes from God. So these doctors were gifted by God para mag-study, mag-learn about sickness. That's like my cure. Sometimes He only removes the pain for a while. Ang pain. My pastor, he's a faithful guy. A holy person. Isa, isa, isa siya sa mga na-reach out ko sa college. Naging pastor siya sa, sa Manila for many, many years. So, nagka, naka-stroke siya. Nakita siya ng wife niya sa loob ng CR. So, uh, nagchat-chat kami. Uh, naka, naka, naka-tube yung feeding ng milk lang. Something. And then, umuubo siya palagi. Uh, tapos, ngayon, na-opera naman siya sa some, something. And, uh, so, he's a faithful guy. Pero ang dami niyang sufferings. May gout siya. Buti na lang online sila. So, hindi nakikita yung nakachinelas lang siya. Kasi hindi, pwede, hindi siya pwede mag-shoes. He was suffering. We've been praying and praying and praying. But bakit di siya pinagaling ni God? Bakit yung blind man near the pool ng Siluam, bakit palagi namang dumadaan si Jesus dun? Bakit hindi siya pinagaling ni Jesus? Okay? There's always a purpose. When we were in, a, in the church before, for 16 years, one of the pillars, kami ni Madel, so, uh, when I preached also, so one of these guys would say, why these guys have so much faith? Yung nasabi ko, mahirap na nga kami, wala pa kaming faith. Sobrang hirap na yun. Di ba? And this guy is on a wheelchair now. He paid for my airfare going to Zamboanga. He helps. Okay, Pastor, ano pa kailangan mo? Hindi na ako sumagot. I don't want to abuse their goodness. They, 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 they donated 1,500 for the chinelas sa mga bata. So, I can't, I can't no longer walk, Pastor. But I will send you there. Brother, you are part of this planting of seeds to, the, to this world. Next problem is oppression. Luke 4, 18, D, to set the captives free. Many are oppressed, distressed, weighed down, and grieving. Socially oppressed. So Jesus had compassion to the outcast. The lepers, di ba, lepers, sabi niya, yung lepers, mga one meter siguro, malayo, ilang meters, five meters, kasi alam nila, they are outcast. Hindi pwedeng lumapit sa mga tao. Are we close to the outcast? May ministry ba tayo sa mga prisoners, sa jail? Nakakatakot, no? Ay, na, I tried. Ko, yung mga tattoo. Hindi galing sa art shop, tattoo shop. Ang papangit ng mga tatu nakakatakot. Pero pag pero pag nasa tatu siya, ganda bro no. Psh, full. Ang uh, magkano yun bro? 50 ma 50,000 siguro budget nila. Pero pag nasa prisuhan ka, matay ba siktok on ko ani. Mm. When I was in Palawan, nagminister kami doon sa Iwahig. Iwahig no? Sa Iwahig yun. Okay? So may mga prisoners doon. The family circus we went there. Okay. Nakita ko yung mga ibang pinili kasi nasa parang hindi sila naka, nasa kulungan. Kasi hindi sila makakalabas doon. Parang free lang sila. Ang uban gahagbas with a with a bolo lagaraw. Oh, lalapit ka, prisoner. Sa isip natin, concept natin, ko baka nakapatay na to. Ko. Baka i-hostage ako nito para makaalis siya dito. So may nakita ako, pumasok sa CR. Lima, ihing-ihi na ako. Papasok, siyempre, papasok ako sa CR. Andun na ako, iba na ka, gano'n na sila. Iba-iba na position nila, kinukatawal. Ang liit ko kaya, bayat-bayot ko itong that time. 
Sabi niya, bro, nakakay kwarta diha. <laughs> May pera ka dyan, bro. <laughs> Anong sabi- sabihin wala? <laughs> Meron, sir. <laughs> Nag-share pa ako. <laughs> Meron, sir. Ito, sir. Alam, basta ko kagad. <laughs> Iwan ko, nakaihi ako. Eh, ano? <laughs> Isip ko, patay ako nito. Kahustis ako nito. Okay? Oppressed, socially oppressed, the prisoners, the drug addicts are rehab. Okay? Ayaw natin lapitan. Kasi nga, para sabihin pa natin, okay, kasalanan, makasalanan sila eh. Nagkasal, pagbayaran nila sa batas. Pero Jesus said, did you visit me when I was in prison? Right? Baka hindi natin ministry, tago tayo, pero meron tayong kilala galing sa loob na kulong. Naging pastor. So he ministers there. Maybe we can help him. Right? The church can help. If we can't go there, you help. Use your resources. Wala na sila'y sabon. Mag-ilog na sila'y sabon. Tanan na religion na papasok sa, sa silda, magpabaptize na sila. Iglesia, Jehovah. Kasi may makukuha silang benefits. Sabi ng sister ko who worked with jail before, sabi niya, the real ministry doon is when they get out from the jail. Sinong religion tatanggap sa kanila? Papasok lima ng katatu dyan. Tatanggapin natin? O, yung mukhang mga adik na papasok sa BCI. But last December, may na-observe kayo? May isang lalaki doon nasa pintuan talaga malapit yung motor niya na may sikad na kapark right Tapos hingi siya hingi pa 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 parang iba yung iba yung espiritu niya tapos after the church may mga badjaws ang dami daming badjaw hingi sila na firma saya masaya sila okay so alam marami ako may konti ako alam na no, badjaw badjaw na mga greetings lumapit siya hingi lahat ubos yung Yung, yung pumasok na rin yung ano, yung lalaki, ah, galit na galit. Yung anak ko, pinagalitan. Oh, iba talaga yung spirito ng taong to Kinausap mo, huy, bakit mo pinapagalitan anak ko? Oh. Kasi kanina ba ako dito? Ito yung mga bajaw, hindi nyo binigyan. Binigyan nyo kaagad. Ah, pinakape ko, pinaubos ko. Si Sir Jen, ibigay natin lang kapito. Ah, masayang masaya sila. Kailala mo si Pastor Joseph. Pag nagsabi kayo, Pastor Joseph, uncle ko yan. Oh, uncle ko yan. Oh. So, Marami akong discount sa badyaw. Oy, pastor! Mm. Palit na. Kuha ka, pastor, libre. Ay, hindi. Bilhin ko na lang. Sige na, pastor, wala akong pambili ng bigas. Hindi ko gusto. Hindi ko pwede sa church. O, bigyan na lang kita ng pera. <laughs> Tingin siya. Ha? Hindi niya kinuha ang, ang sapatos, pero binigyan niya ako. O, eh, pambigas mo. O. Okay? So, Jesus Christ is same yesterday, today, and forever. He never changes. Do we reach the outcasts of the society, the prisoners, drug rehab, prostituted women? Just a central bank. Uh, may pila niya, psh, da, tanan, uh, pati, mga, pati mga husband nila, sila na nagabugaw sa ilaha. Yes, ginahatod nila. Psh, um. Kasi mas, kasi i-hire mo sila, i-hire mo sila maglabandira, tibok adlaw, paplansyawan pa ni mo, at agal mo 500, sa isip nila, kaya ko to 2,000. Right? Sa so, ano pwede natin gawin sa kanila? Uh, Madela and I went there also reaching out sa mga prostituted women. Or we call them, ano nga, tawag natin ga? Hindi naman night owl. Mm-mm. Okay? So, Oppressed by sin and destructive lifestyle. Jesus restored the life of the Samaritan woman who has many husbands. And even the parable of the lost son, the prodigal son. Okay? The prodigal son returned to his father's warm and loving arms. So there's restoration. Okay? The oppressed by sin and destructive lifestyle. Next is the oppressed by difficult life experiences. Ito ang marami. Many lives, okay, oppressed by pain and hurts of the past. Childhood abuse, marital infidelity, and financial 
injury. The past trauma. Okay? Two things happen to a rape victim. Dalawa lang mangyayari. First, she will be a man-hater, including his, uh, her dad, because her, da her dad is man. He's gonna hate man. Or, two, he's gonna be six addict. Six addict sila. One confess as a friend ng, ng kapatid ko. Two things happen. Childhood abuse. If you will ask this LGBT, were you molested when you were young? 100% mostly. Kunti na lang yung sa mga barkada, na damay, or nagamit sila. I asked this, yung ministry din kami before sa mga, sa mga uh, uh, homosexuals sa loob ng parlor, I, uh, we asked, what, wa, wa, bakit nangyayari yun? Pag yung mga ginamit ng mga, yung mga ano, homosexuals, nagiging homosexual din. Sabi niya, totoo yan, well, totoo yan. Transference of spirits. Transference. So they were oppressed. And we need to tell them about Jesus. Okay? Marital infidelity. Maraming problems ngayon yan. Marital breakups that causes trauma and oppression. And financial injury. Okay? So do we give hope and encouragement to their wounded and broken hearts? Next, oppressed by fear and worry. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not worry. Do not worry. Okay? Matthew 6.31 Fear and worry do not allow a person to live a happy and abundant life. Because worry is the enemy of God. Because God said, trust me. Trust me. Even so, many Christians live oppressed by this current evil fear of what is to come. Fear of what is to come. Okay? Nagiging paranoid tayo. What's happening? Kahit anong balloons na lang lumipad dyan. Ah, tirahin natin anong balloon na yan. Baka may, pwede rin. Baka may virus sa loob. Mag-scatter. Hindi natin alam. Okay? So, a lot of things is happening to this world. Fear of what others will say. Oh, nakailang bihis ka ngayon sa harap ng salamin. <laughs> Ako kapag po nakadalawa. Ay, hindi match. <laughs> okay, so I prepare before. Before. Okay, anong, anong su suot ko? Okay? Para hindi ako malate. And the fear about economic state. Worry. Uy, yung, yung business ko. I'm so worried about the business. Bawas tao tayo ngayon. May mga friends ako. Bawas sila ngayon, no hiring. Kasi, kasi mahirap na. Do we live and preach freedom in Christ? Do our neighbors, students, and brothers and sisters in Christ see us as free people? Jesus was completely free, free and only He can give us freedom. Kung hindi tayo free, mahirap po tayong mag-share about freedom. I cannot talk about missions if I'm, I'm not in missions. Because I know what's in there. Good news! Now is the year of the Lord's favor. I've read this already for 34 years. Now is the year of the Lord's favor. I've been reading this many, many, many times. Anong meron dito? Now Jesus is essentially saying, sa nabasa natin previously, saying to them, I am the fulfillment of these prophecies and the favorable year of the Lord in verse 19 is now. Ano yung favorable year? Okay? Favorable year of the Lord is the era of salvation. It is the age of redemption. He is simply saying the promised Messiah is here. Nung basahin niya yung Isaiah 61. Okay? Salvation has arrived. It isn't any longer future. It's not the coming Messiah na in-expect pa ng Israel. 
It is no longer something you look forward to. It is here. It is now. I who stand before you am your Savior and Messiah. I am the fulfillment of this prophecy, of this word of Isaiah. So nagalit yung mga Jews. Now they knew from Isaiah 61 that when the Messiah came, they knew it was the Messiah, Messianic passage. That the Spirit of the Lord would be upon him and he would be anointed. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. And He has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. In Luke 3.21-22, Jesus was baptized and the Holy Spirit, the heaven opens and the Holy Spirit descended upon Him in the form of dove. The Holy Spirit descended upon Jesus. Luke four one, He was full of the Holy Spirit and led by the Spirit after the temptation in the desert. Luke for 14, he returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit, which we always neglect and acknowledge in our lives, the Holy Spirit. Acts 2, chapter 17 to 21 is the prophecy also of Joel, chapter 2, 28 to 32. It says there, it shall come to pass in the last days, says God. Hanggang kailan ang last days? Hanggang sa pagdating ni Jesus. That's the last days. We are in the last days. And it says there that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, even on my servants, both men and women. I will pour out my spirit in those days, and they will prophesy. I will show wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Will be saved. 1986 was the experience of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And a friend of mine in, in, in uh, Marinduque confirmed also that those years also was the revival. There was revival. The outpouring of the Spirit. The, the showing of the signs and the gift. I do speak in tongues, but I do it for myself. Pag meron situation na medyo evil ang, 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 ang area, pag meron ma situation na, na I sense that there is there's evil there, I speak in tongues. Speaking in tongues is saying secret things from God. It's only you and God that understand. Unless somebody knows the interpretation, we experience the power, empowering of the Holy Spirit. We have the Spirit already, but we need to be empowered. Kaya nga, maraming hindi marunong mag-share, walang boldness to, to preach the gospel because they were not empowered by the Holy Spirit. Kailangan punuin ka. Kapag umapaw yan, it will share to somebody. We need that. We are not supposed to, you know, uh, suppress the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Be used. In conclusion, we are called to follow the examples of Jesus. We are all in a mission until the day He comes. We are all being ministered. And now it is your time, my time, to minister also. We all receive God's goodness. It's time for you and me to show one. We were rescued from damnation. It is time for you and me to rescue some. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, speak to our hearts. Give us Holy Spirit. If you are less acknowledged in our lives, Holy Spirit, follow us. Spirit. 
grieve not the Holy Spirit. It is your promise, Lord, that in the last days, you will pour out your Spirit, fall upon us. Holy Spirit, empower us to do your work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, bring comfort to those who need comfort. Holy Spirit, convict those who are living in sin. Convict us. Convict me, Lord. Holy Spirit, guide us in all Our plans guide us what we are going to do Holy Spirit comfort comfort them send for comfort Holy Spirit as you descended upon Jesus so we pray. This is the favorable year, Lord. It is now the year of salvation, redemption, it's favor from you, God. Oh, hallelujah. Ooh. Holy Spirit. Feel us. Feel us always, O oh God. That we may be able to walk. We may be able to continue to walk with you, Lord. Touch the hearts of God of those who are oppressed. Touch the hearts, Lord, who are in bandage. Bring deliverance to God from sin. Open the eyes of the blind that they may see the truth. The truth is you, Lord. Feel this who are poor, Lord. Spiritually, morally, even materially. Talk to the Holy Spirit. It's right there inside you. Father, we just thank you, Lord. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. What you have done before, you're still going to do it to us right now, right where we are. Fulfill your plans, O oh God, in our lives until you come. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, later we'll talk about the group discussion there and then we'll just post there. Brother Kian, thank you.